just like the intro cutscene, obviously. We have yeah. here. Yeah. I'm not getting Boring. You are now changed. Two different ships. Wow, you get to start with like a carrier. That's awesome. Yeah. For this demo, it's a battleship, but you can go from fighters to. Okay, so you could literally start with like a fighter or a yep. freighter. You, when you play the game in Steam Early Access, you start. Oh, there she is. Cosmetics. Everyone loves to customize ships. This menu is locked off for packs, but essentially you'll be able to change you know, a lot of stuff on your ship, like your turrets and whatnot. But you can close that. Uh, all this stuff is locked right now, but you can just leave it head out for space combat. I want to shoot things. Yep, there you go. Oh, QE. Okay, we have inverted. Well, I guess. I, what's, my, what's my throttle? There we go. I figured out the throttle. Scroll up and scroll down, apparently. Oh, hey, yeah. It's on the screen. <laughs> Read the screen. Left mouse button, you can target stuff to see its health and shields. Am I supposed to shoot these things? Uh, those, are oh, those, are your those are probably friendlies. <laughs> Rip. There's the enemy, I would assume. Do you not know how like tutorial levels work? No, I mean, it's orange, so I assume it's shooting. Well, they're not shooting it, so I would assume not. Uh, you press right mouse button to like laser target things, which will volley shots at them. So you can do that at your friend list if you want to. <laughs> well, yeah, she will. I just like to blow stuff up. I'm not good at being <laughs> Explosions are good. Go to the distress call. So I noticed that you've got wheels on the side here. So what is it designed with ideal controller use in mind? Uh, I think it's mostly for keyboard only. I say unlock There's a lot more controls to this game beyond um, just those. So unlocked abilities, I assume, uh -huh. leveling up. Leveling That's up part of the RPG element. The distress call's over here. Yeah, distress call over there. Oh, you're following a convoy the wrong way. You gotta follow the convoy! If you press B, you can go sublight, which is the best speed on this. Get you over there real quick. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, if you left button mouse click that, you can see how far away it is. Pretty far. So you just hit B to come out of it again? Yep. Oh, look up. Oh, we got red things. Well, that was weird. <laughs> that didn't look like that was supposed to happen. Black death. Dash. Oh, you hold down the left mouse, or you hold down the right mouse button to like straight target the uh, the foot volleys of damage as opposed to tapping it. Uh, oh, I'm running into him. Well, I mean, just point blank range, right? Yeah. So our turrets automatic kind of a thing. Uh, they'll or? automatically shoot, but you can target them on specific things by holding down the right mouse. I button. can kind of see the particle effects in it. Sure. There's a lot of going on. Oh wow, they got some pretty good angles of fire there. Why don't you slow down there, Goofball? All the shield, or all enemies have shields like you do, or they're quad shields, so if you break through one of them and you aim your mouse that way, you can get through them and... Uh, oh, okay. So there's, uh, like, targeted damage for shields. Okay. That's good. You can click all those, too. Those are your, uh, these are your abilities. And those are bombs. Wow, that's like an AoE. That looks like an EMP. Everyone seems to like to, to ram into each other at this point. Yeah. So is this a missile barrage, maybe? Yeah, those are missiles. You look like a Romulan Warbird, kind of. If you want to zoom in and out, you can use that to get a little better view if that's more comfortable for you. Oh, there you go. Move that camera out a little bit. So, obviously she's controlling her one ship here. There's a couple of allies there. Can you, can is, is it like a, just tell them to attack things and they just kind of go attack it? A lot of that stuff's locked out of packs right now because it's still in early access. Early access. Yeah, you would essentially, when you bring in your own fleet, you could, um, yeah, tell them to target certain things and um, get into formations and whatnot. Oh, okay. Uh, you would have the ability to add like 20 plus uh, ship fleet to your, uh, you know, arsenal essentially. Okay. You bring them in on things. Wow, you destroyed. You destroyed that thing. I would imagine space combat going now, but it's working. No, it, it, it's it's the same thing with most sci-fi that it's got the the air craft movement kind of because real space kind of would be flipping around and stuff it'd be weird it would look really weird to us because <laughs> you'd just be it, if you didn't slow down you just spin off yeah they're still working on like stuff like collisions and whatnot yeah they, they would probably make the collisions do more damage i would say are we gonna or is it gonna be a more visceral kind of like if you hit something at high speed something uh, really not it's gonna hurt you more than it's gonna hurt them yeah. because they wanted you to not necessarily do that yeah well but there's a ramming move on the bottom that is that does some damage ramming speed that's extra damage Damage boost. Damage boost. Shield boost. Turret boost. Yeah, you're pretty. You're pretty standard stuff. Well, the space combat feels good in this game. Uh, I like the way it feels. Looks pretty. Uh, 
Yeah? Pretty good. I like that the hulks are just gray. Oh, wait. Did you just like destroy it? Like when you ran into the... I don't really know what any of these things back in the sky are doing. Smash buttons until they die. It seems to be a legitimate strategy. Yep. For a lot of people. For now, I mean. So these are some of the things we're still doing. How much you do to get the land of the So is there different weapon types, or is it just like each ship has its own, this is what it has? Essentially when you buy the ships in this game, you buy the shell of the ship, and then you customize each part of the ship with different turrets. So you could, can you like put, you could just make a ship that's all shields or something? Or? Yeah, you could add different, yeah, more shields, different engines, uh, there's different types of weapons like Tesla cannons, rocket launchers, and right now it's built with light, uh, light turrets, but yeah, just turrets. more in the final game. Man, do the enemies keep coming, or are you just... I think a few jump in at different times, but... Well, you've also have allies jumping in, enemies, too. So, yeah, it's a set amount of enemies in this one. It's a very interesting... Sh kill them all, you know. It's a very interesting ship design going on here. Yeah, the AI seems to be a little collision-happy. Yeah. <laughs> Hey. They, went, they went over like I know they want way more ships as opposed to like a few ships with like I don't know. Want, you want little to be chaos. Chaos. a little crowded. Yeah. Controllable chaos. Oh yeah, your turrets are definitely critical hit. Nice yeah, job. If you go over the map with your mouse, you can like organize what you want to focus on, like power, shields, or like speed. Okay. You can change the percentage if you hover over that little triangle. That so for you or what's your spot? That's for your ship. Just for your ship? Yep. More enemies. So what are these little, I see there's little glowy things here. What, what are those? That's like salvage from the ship's breaking, from the, the debris in the space. Okay. You can shoot the debris in the space, get stuff from that, and sell that for parts of your ship. Okay. Turrets. Oh, cool. It's got like a little collect all button. Just trying to unload up the guy here. Yeah, he doesn't look very happy. Well, this is his health bar here, so he has still a lot of health. Yeah, he's got health, but you got his shield down. The shield is the red bar, right? Yep. Okay. It's really low, but it's still up. Well, this is like one of the bigger ones, though, so. Unsurprisingly, he can take some punishment. Well, I had been destroying him earlier, and then I let him get away because the shield was went back up. Ooh, that was a pretty explosion. <laughs> You're just dancing around your own chips there. There's another one. I don't really you can be upside down. It's, this one seems completely unhurt. Just the business. Buttons, I don't know what they do, but let's try it. That's okay, mash all the buttons to victory. Oh my god. Yeah, these bigger ships are tough. He's also allocated a lot of his resources to the buffs. So now he's firing it. So can you repair? That's what the glowing uh, green thing was. If they ever get through your shields and damage you, you can oh, okay. repair with that. Shields are pretty strong. In this yeah, I'm seeing that shields are quite tough, but the ships themselves are not. There's a lot of different difficulties, so like, if you want it to be hard, you can make it hard. Legendary. Have fun. Pretty much. Lunatic. Feel like the boss. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's the four areas that are draining. Oh, 
Are those areas directional or are they just in general this whole field? Um, I believe they're directional, so if you pull the mouse over the area, you're more likely to hit. Like, depending on where your turrets are, you're more likely to hit that spot to get to the shield. He still has some shield that I'm taking down his Yeah, he's got one side of his shield yeah, still up. Side, yeah, see, it's on the like bottom side draw now. It's easy to tell that you're hitting the shield, though. So. Oh, wow. That was, uh, yeah, the explosions are pretty nice. Can, just suddenly the ship goes completely haywire and detonates. Core breach. Did these do damage? Self-extracting turret holder. Shields are tough on these bigger ships. You are not kidding. Yeah. These are all light cannons, too. So. This looks like it hurts. So. Looks like an EMP kind of wave or something. Maybe it increases your chance for criticals. We got a shield down on the left side. There you go, yeah, now you're taking his health. Well, I mean, if you shoot enough 75 millimeter at it, it'll die. Eventually. We'll poke him to death. explosion you had there. You can go around and collect salvage and bring it back, but there's not too much left in this demo. That was awesome, thank you. That was a pretty sweet explosion you had going on there. Uh, you can press things down before you go. 